Hey, what is up guys and welcome to a new Kev5 tutorial. Today we are going to be covering part 2 of creating a faction server. Now, what we're going to do today is show you how to import and upload a world to your server, specifically a pre-built factions map. Now, the reason I'm not creating my own is because one, I suck at building, and two, I'm just, it's easier this way and I can promote someone who's a great builder. So, we're going to grab our map from here. Now the first thing we actually need to do, and this is so you can support multiple maps on your server, is I'm going to use Multiverse Core. You don't necessarily need to use this plugin, and you can just import the world using your server's default world setting, and I will show you that. However, I prefer to support multiple worlds on my server. So we're going to quickly upload this plugin to our server, and I will provide a link to that plugin in the description below. So now that it's uploaded, we are going to restart our server. Now I am already logged into my server using FileZilla. I highly recommend FileZilla whenever uploading maps. So quickly, we're going to download this map while the server is restarting. And we are going to hit download a nice little 3.39 gigabyte map. I mean megabyte. Now we're going to unzip it. I use WinRAR for this. I will provide links to all of this. There's a lot of programs that are involved with uploading a map to your server. So please keep that in mind. It's not a difficult process more than it is just a little bit tedious. So now that the map is unpacked, hi there. Now that the map is unpacked, we're going to drag it and drop it into FileZilla. So here it is here. We're going to put this down. We're going to drag and drop it into here. Now the world is going to proceed to import into the server. It's just got to upload a few files because all it is is a simple spawn map rather than it being a map that's already been completely created. You can do this with, if you're having issues, you can do this with any map. This is how you import and upload any map. You're going to want to allow the queued files to completely upload until there's none left, until it's blank like this. If you do not and you try to import the map while they are going on, there is a chance for map corruption, certain parts of the map won't load, and you might be missing some builds. So now we're going to show you quickly the advanced options section. Um, this is where you're able to put your map. If you do decide that you do not want to use multiverse core, you would simply uh, find what the world name is. So faction spawn. And since we uploaded the map as Faction Spawn, you can find it right here. Um, in this case, I'll just rename it, copy that. Um, so it's still Faction Spawn. We're going to go onto our control panel and change that. Uh, if we change this setting, it would default load the world. It would give that world a nether and it would give it an end. If we just upload it using Multiverse Core, this world would not have a nether and end. However, I am still going to use the Multiverse Core method for people who want to support multiple worlds on their server. Now, the map is completely uploaded, so let's just log into the server real quick. We're going to change our server over to 1.9, and we're going to log into the server. Once I'm logged in, I will start the recording back up. Now that we are on the server, we can proceed to import the world. I have opened up the wiki here, which shows you all of the commands of Multiverse Core. Here is the import command. If you want to import a world as a regular normal world, um, which would be the case here, you always want to do normal when importing a world that's already been made. Uh, so we do slash mv import, whatever the world name is, so we're going to do faction spawn, and I'm just going to double check real quick and ensure that is the name. So faction spawn. And we're going to do normal. And this is going to fail because it's actually faction spawn. Now it's importing. And once it's imported, we can access that world by doing slash MVTP in the world name. So faction spawn. We are now in the faction spawn. However, it does not seem that it spawned me in the proper location. Now in the case of this spawn, we are going to have to go to very specific coordinates, which you can do with slash TP, username, and I'm using essentials for this, negative 18, and then 70, and then 14. And as you can see here, here's the faction spawn. It's very beautiful, actually. So we're gonna open this up to full screen and show you around. Uh, so basically, this is how you start your server once you have factions and massive core installed. 
The next step would be to get a map. You can pre-build your own, or you can get one off of, like, Planet Minecraft. Um, you know, pre-building your map makes you more unique, uh, but using a custom map like this is just as fine, because it's really nice. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. I hope this helped you out. Uh, Saturday I will be releasing part 3, so please stay tuned for that. And as always, have a wonderful day.